What's up guys, this is your boy Rusian and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about everything that's going on uh, having to do with uh, me and film school. Also, I'm going to talk about the promotion I was, I was running the channel and a few updates about things that are going on right now uh, with me, with the channel, all that stuff, all right? So if you guys have been following the channel for a while, you know I had a really hard issue with... Uh, get my transcripts accepted in the United States since I graduated in Brazil. Uh, last month, I actually had the opportunity, or actually, <laughs> I got so depressed, I got upset at myself and booked the GD for the next day. Uh, since New York just opened GD testing uh, on the 22nd of January. So, did the test, uh, minimum study, what is kind of scary. And I was able to pass, so great. Now, pretty much the next day, I called up LA Film School, got everything pretty much set up, started filling paperwork. Um, I had a start date of the 28th of February. So, uh, great communication with LA Film. Um, everything seemed to be going well until communication kind of stopped. Now, finally, I was able to get a little bit of, uh, I was able to get an email from Dan and they said the issue was because, uh, not exactly uh, my scores, but the way it happened in New York City is the GED test center sends the scores to New York State and they actually produce you a high school diploma. So they wanted the unofficial transcripts or the official ones before I could actually start. But they're going to be looking into other options for me. Well, um, it's been about two weeks or more that I have not heard from LA Film. Even I sent several emails. Um, they just didn't say anything about those other options. Now, as someone of you guys may know, um, I'm a veteran of the United States Army, 11 Bravo Infantry, and I have a lot of injuries. So, as of December 30th, because I was working for the city, but that was a seasonal job, I have not worked. I was actually going to just on the bare minimum, be able to do uh, pretty much like survive, you know, pay my bills, live in the minimum, but go to school. Also because I have the J bill that was going to actually give me some money to actually go to school at the same time. And I was able to take care of myself. Well, without the school thing, um, that is kind of a little bit of an issue. What I do have PTSD, depression, and that really hit me very hard. So, since pretty much every job that is offered for me is labor or things that my body can do maybe for a couple of weeks until it completely goes and would have to keep me at home for a few more weeks, what means uh, I would be out of a job. Um, I have not been able to accept those jobs, <sighs> what is kind of an issue, right? So luckily uh, I had some money from taxes so, and I am holding on to it, but eventually it's going to end. So that said, what I had to do is uh, follow something that my doctors have been hitting me really hard to do. Um, I wanted to have some of my exams done first before I even applied since uh, if you don't have all the paperwork, a lot of times they can't fix. Um, so you just go back and forth, you reapply and that becomes harder. So, but anyway, uh, the point is I had to apply to raise my disability with uh, Veteran Affairs. Something that, believe it or not, um, it's probably one of the hardest things I've done. Not except the process, um, for my PTSD, even my psychologist that was doing the intake and the evaluation, he was pretty chilled. Um, 
right in the end, he pretty much told me exactly how was his view about that. You know, I was very stressed. Um, I don't like to talk about the wrong things that go in my life. And I had to do that for an hour and a half. So, yeah, it was not the most comfortable thing for me to do. But pretty much what I'm doing now is uh, I have to wait on those answers. And that comes to why I haven't done a lot of the things I had planned, like some of the videos. It's pretty much, it's been a few very stressful weeks where um, I didn't have the energy. But just like uh, when I took my GED, I had to get upset at myself, realize the point in life I was at and make some decisions. I mean, it may still take a few weeks for me to be able to get uh, the paperwork the college wants, not exactly needs. What kind of pushed my time? So I have decided uh, in the most doing cinematography, one of the things that would actually help me a lot in the most, even the channel, since I work by myself. I'm 44 years old, what it means my friends have better stuff to do than to help me make videos. As of right now, I'm starting to learn Unreal Engine 5. Not for gaming, okay, but to actually create videos. I don't know how long it's gonna take me. Um, it feels to me that Unreal 5 is pretty uh, straightforward for the way my mind works when it works, but we'll see. So a couple of plans I may uh, I have is um, to create a few concept trailers um, for some ideas I had before. Don't take me wrong, those ideas are not exactly mine. The idea of the trailer is, okay, those are stories that already exist, but I need to build the world around the story. So that's gonna be fun. So yeah, guys, um, just want you guys to know, okay, um, I am planning, I am writing a little bit, uh, I gotta have to start writing some scripts, something I'm not the biggest fan on doing. I usually just repeat, 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 cut, 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 adjust, edit, and that's it. But, and I'm also because what I'm gonna be doing in school, it's something I have to get used to. I really appreciate you guys that actually took the time to watch that video. Um, let me just say one thing. We go through stuff in the most after the last few years. And a lot of times we keep to ourselves because we keep feeling we're bothering people when we talk about our problems. I feel that all the time. And sometimes I separate myself from my friends because you don't want people to fail you. So, you know, if you have something going through you, with you, and you tell someone you, you have an expectation of how they're going to react and how they can help you, and a lot of times this doesn't happen. But I'll tell you, uh, that's the worst thing you do. If you're going through anything, uh, talk to a friend or talk to someone you don't know. Sometimes someone from outside can give you the best inside and help you the most. Okay, guys, so thank you very much for watching. I hope you all stay healthy. And as always, I'll see you in the game.